I am live. Good evening, everybody. Let me turn the volume up. Would help. <laughs> Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another Thursday edition of Ask Auntie D. Um, there you go. There you go. Um, I'm hoping it don't drop on my head, to be fair, because um, one of my little pins has come out. But hey ho, show business. No, I'm only joking. Um, so we're just going to, oh, I was going to say, I'm going to wait for a few people to come on. There's 12 on already. That's not bad for considering I've only just started. Hello to the beautiful Christina. How are you tonight, my my darling? Um, so I, I, I'm sitting here and I'm, I'm modelling the lovely Balls to Cancer hoodie. Um, here's my one. Ask on to D-Day. D yeah. Um, the soap black's supposed to be a real flattering colour and knocks pounds off you. I'm off six of the money, so. Yeah, I might get another couple, another three <laughs> or four or five. <laughs> uh, Laura, I'm not actually feeling the cold. I'm actually having a bit of a flush. But it's what you're going to do when you're a model. When you're a model, you have to sort <laughs> <laughs> What's the money, Madge? Black, band, black bag model. Black bag model. <laughs> <laughs> Cheek. Um, you just can't get the, um, the what you call it, the hired help, which is not even hired. She's doing it on a voluntary basis. Um, so, yes, so so no, I'm not actually feeling the cold. I'm actually doing this. It's all, in, it, it's all for an amazing cause. So, because we are here, aren't we? On, on the Balls to Cancer Facebook Live. Um... Raising awareness for an amazing charity. I've got Wendy who's just popped in. Um, yeah, Wendy, we've had to uh, they had to cancel the strippers, so we never had any strippers in the hot tub. So what can I say? Um, there's always another day, Wendy, my darling. Always another day. And I'm going to say it now. Hello to Angela Powell. How are you, beautiful? The lovely Angela, who is, if I'm correct, because obviously my memory is a bit rubbish. Um, Angela's company sponsors the Balls to Cancer male football team. Oh, yeah, Balls to Cancer FC. Um, so there you go. So we still have to try and pop along and watch a couple of matches yeah. there, Matt. I hope everyone's following the ladies' teams on Facebook and everything, and the men. I hope they are following the Balls to Cancer football teams on, on Facebook. So there you go. And another massive hello. They're coming in thick and fast now, Madge. Thick, thick and fast. fast. You too. We've got the lovely, I'm going to get it right this time because obviously it was a topic of discussion last week. Hi, Paul Harold. Um, <laughs> and then obviously, you know, um, our Madge, so your name, you know, your name's gone on the um, winner spinner because obviously you guessed tonight's special guest correctly. Um, okay. I'll fill you in in a minute. So anybody who did guess correctly, obviously their names have gone down on our winner spinner, aren't they, Madge? They have indeed. They most certainly have. And obviously, you know, you'll be entered into the draw at the end of the show to win a Balls to Cancer wristband. That's what we're doing this week. A Balls to Cancer wristband.com. So it's a little flexible bendy thing that will fit any size wrist. And it also doubles up as a halo. <laughs> Do you like the halo, Madge? Yeah, I have mine shining all the time. Yeah, you'll shine bright. Like a diamond. Can't even get mine. Madge's shines bright like a diamond. So, yeah, and the motto is here for you anytime, every time, because they really are. That's what they're here for. Um, so responsive to messages and everything. Anybody that sends a message. Oh, it's bringing a little smile to my face now. Holly Megan's in. Oh! Yes, the lovely Holly, the hat trick legend who plays for Balls to Cancer Ladies. Now, don't tell anyone, but Holly's You're my favourite. <laughs> yeah, she is, isn't she? She's my favourite. And do you know why Holly's my favourite? Um, well, basically, because she's an amazing footballer, of course. But secondly, I don't know if you're all aware, but Balls to Cancer, through Balls to Cancer, you can, I think it's for £20, sponsor um, one of the Balls to Cancer um, football jackets. 
and you can sponsor them in memory of a loved one and holly oh and you know everything it, it was a massive surprise and i did i cried my eyes out for ages um the jacket that holly's got is in memory of my dad uh dan kelly mm -hmm. and yes and she went out and scored a hat trick yeah. she got she got a hat trick and i basically i don't think it's anything to do with holly's footballing skills to be fair i think it's because she wears my dad's jacket he couldn't what can I play say? football for us to save his life. Yeah, I know he couldn't play football to save his life, but you know, one of them. Listen, guys, I'm getting really hot. I'm going to have to take the hood off. Flush. Yeah, flushing, flushing away. So, See how prepared I am. While you're, while you're brushing your hair. While I'm brushing my hair. The tablet of terror. What's cracker lacking on the tablet of terror then, Matt? So, John Cross, hi, says hi, girl. Oh, hiya, John. Um, John's one of them. Um, um, one of the big big brothers bit on the side audience members absolutely love John Chet and says hi auntie Dee. oh Chet I love my Chet my little friend from Twitter yeah Teresa says hello oh Teresa Brazil. is that the Brazil the Brazil Brazil, hello, the Brazil. And dangerous match. oh delightful D and dangerous match oh <laughs> going all out with the insults tonight no that's actually Abby Robertson. that's hey. not oh Abby you know I love you girl <laughs> and everyone is saying hi i'm waving back at everybody and everyone else is saying hello and madge is waving back at you currently waving back at you from the watch party so i'm going to go back here now and say i don't want to miss anyone out. i missed loads of people out last week um i think it's because i got so engrossed didn't i with matt we had matt hoy on didn't we from ub40 last week yeah and he was absolutely fantastic wasn't it he was, he brilliant. was brilliant it was an absolutely brilliant show um so we're going to say a massive hello to tony fisher and to the lovely brian mitten so yeah and stevie whitfield stevie whitfield's in as well now and oh. there you go so what's cracker lacking over there she's doing this like you know when people sort of mouth something at you and you really haven't got a clue what they're saying not like, only can you not see out your glasses you can't lip read either so basically no. I've, I've got my glasses on but i can't see i can't lip read oh i do, I can't do a lot of things according to the girl child I need to get an easel board and <laughs> you do actually i think that's the thing she's being very politically correct over here um because she's she's thinking of investing in an easel board i mean chalkboard one of them no whiteboard no. White oh well, like one of them board things anyway um where she can she's like she could put permanent marker not permanent marker wipeable marker on yeah. so she can secretly send me messages <laughs> um the beautiful laura's in <laughs> she's watching the live with one eye but she's watching a massive spider on her wall with the other uh, eye. So I've got a feeling, and um, if she's watching on a tablet or a phone or whatever, I've got a feeling it might just fly across the room uh, any second now if that spider makes a move. Oh, don't you're going to laugh. I hate spiders. Absolutely hate them. Really do. Stephen Payne is in the house. He says, hey, hey, hope you're well. I am well. <laughs> Do you know, I don't know. Um, I'm laughing because Stephen, God bless him, he's, um, he's got a little bit of an injury at the moment. What type? What type? I don't know whether to ask. <laughs> I don't oh know. God. Could you be using the something whacker? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not an injury caused by the balls to cancer <laughs> willy whacker. <laughs> um yeah I, I won't out you yet steve unless you kind of give permission uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh dear and this is the thing <coughs> i absolutely love you guys do you know what i mean it's like everybody on my facebook and everything i do you know you have kept me going so much i just don't think you'll understand it when i'm having like a really really bad day which is practically six days out of the week mm -hmm. um, you know your messages and your statuses and these are just so lovely do you know what i mean and it's like and that's why i kind of like i do i mean i don't I to even imagine how many people i haven't even met but i feel like i know everything about everybody 
and and that's why I love yours. But yeah, um, let's just put it this way: I hope the toe gets well soon, Steve. On the bed post. <laughs> no, he never calls it on the bed post. <laughs> he never calls it on the bed post. <laughs> oh, Aaron John Blake's popped back in. I know he's been having a little break off social media. All right, Aras, how are you, my darling? And just to let you know, that picture that you sent me today, if that ever, ever, ever sees the light of dad, that's me and you done, done, done. That's all I'm saying on that one. So there you go. Oh, Ashley, Ashley Stebbings is joining us for the first time today oh, and loving it already. Welcome. A nice little family feel going on here. Um, she did say you're so funny, Dee. I don't even actually try. I think it's like, I don't, I don't know. That's a funny ha-ha or funny. Yeah, that's true, actually. <laughs> As in funny ha-ha, Ashley, or like funny, funny, like weird funny. <laughs> Because there's a fine line, isn't there? Well, do you know something, Ashley? Welcome to our Balls to Cancer family, because that's exactly what we are. Every Thursday, we've all, you know, we've all got our problems, we've all got our issues, we've all got little ailments, and some people, you know, unfortunately, um, suffer more. You know, that, that they've they've got or going through um, cancer. And it's kind of like, you know, just an hour out, an hour on a Thursday where you can come here and you can have a lovely little chat. And obviously everybody just talks to everybody and just listens to me rambling on like a raving loony. But I wouldn't have myself any other way. Simple as. So welcome to the Balls to Cancer family, Ashley. I hope you're well. Okay. Ashley has actually confirmed that she means funny ha-ha. Oh, good. Yeah. There you go. Um, Aaron has come back onto the live just for me. What Aww. can I say? Oh, it's probably because I don't answer his video call. So he's thinking the only way I can see that pretty face is if I log on to the Balls to Cancer page on a Thursday. Cup's still going strong, guys. How many weeks have I had this now and I haven't broke it? Two months. Two Eight months? Yeah. Whoa. It's really good. Just shows how sturdy they are. You know where you can get them from, don't you? You can get them from visiting balls2cancer.com. Click on the button that says shop, and they've got some amazing things. Sturdy mugs, sturdy hoodies, sturdy wristbands, sturdy T-shirts, because it has to be sturdy for our match. Rude! <laughs> so rude, rude. We were just um, we were just talking about we were just talking about you, Elaine, and you did you, you did kind of make us in a nice way. We always talk about people in a nice way. Um, every Thursday when Madge comes down, social distancing comes down. We go through <laughs> we go through the posts where we've been posting clues about people, you know, who the special guest is. <laughs> And you know, looking for the correct answers. And Elaine, I must admit, your guess really did make us laugh because you're like, if it is who I think it is, it's going to be a good show. But you never actually told us who you thought it was, Elaine. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear me! So we're like, we we're sit there waiting. Well, come on, then Elaine, tell us who do you think who do you think it is? <laughs> Oh, bless you. But I'm going to have a sip on my tea while I nip over to Madge. What's cracker like him? Uh, Diane Louise Harley's in the house. Why are you over there, Diane, and not over here? I'm taking offence now. <laughs> See, Diane's a flitter. Ain't you, Diane? Yeah. She, she flits. <laughs> See, one week she's on here because she wants me to say, you know, hello to her. And then the next week she's over on the tablet of terror because she wants our match to say hello. Mm, I know your game, young lady. <laughs> ah, fun joking. I'm Jane, not deadly serious. Jamie Roberts in the house says, Hey D, lots of love from Manchester. Oh, oh Jamie. Lock, lock um, yes, Jamie, lots of love back to Manchester from Birmingham. Um, a bit dodgy up there at the moment, any kid? <laughs> <laughs> and it's like we were in Manchester the other week, weren't we? Three weeks ago. Greater Manchester three weeks ago. And do you know, I don't know why, ever since I said, I want to cough. All right, uh, Janice Carter, <coughs> hey, oh, Janice Carter, she's on here as well. 
multi-device. You're multi-devicing now, Janice. I think you're just showing off. <laughs> Did Janice get the, um, the answer correct today? Yeah. Yeah, she always gets it correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not just a pretty face, are you, Janice? Yeah. Okay. Mizzy, uh, Mizzy, Mrs. Kizzy Boo says, hey, do you love this woman? Oh, hiya, Missy. Yeah, love you under the house. Oh, see. So they're all over there. I'm getting like you know, you lot stay over there really because prefer match. no, they don't prefer match. <laughs> it's because I'm very selective about who I have here on my balls what to cancer line. So just know, everyone here on balls to cancer, I love you loads more than I do them lot over there on the watch party. Oh, I don't really, you know, I love you all. I absolutely love you all. Um, Paul saying, D, you're the kind of person I'd like to have a cup of tea and a good old chat about life with and have a laugh. What do you think we're doing now, Paul? No, I'm only joking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this is the thing. <coughs> oh, God. This is the thing, do you know what I mean? One day soon, I think what we would have to do is we'll have to do when we're allowed. A big afternoon tea a event. A big for a afternoon tea event as a fundraiser for Balls to Cancer. And I don't know if we do it live or whatever. or But we can all then... Do you have a fundraiser? Yeah, yeah, I meant live on oh, right, live. Yeah. I didn't mean live. Oh. Of course we're going to do it in the function room. Where else are we going to do it? When you, you're pointing out the PC and the laptop? Yeah, because I was on about a live. Oh. Oh, right, yeah. Oh, man, she's, she's confused. Streamed. She's confusing me. Yeah. Andy Conway, what took you so long, handsome? Lee Jones says, hey honey, hope you're well. I am sweet, I'm just got a bit of a bit of a oh bit of a sore throat. I don't know why. Oh, um, well, so should we should we just have a little um should we have a little sort of um should I ask everyone a question, seeing there's no one's asking me questions? Go on, then. Well Janice wants another willy whacker, so she must have beat her so hard that it's it, <laughs> it's, it, broke. it's broke. Um well Janice. You can get another Willy Whacker, but you can get it, you can buy this one. You won the last Willy Whacker, didn't you, sweetheart? Yeah. So, by all means, feel free. Buy as many Willy Whackers as you like, sweetheart. <laughs> whack and whack, whack away to your heart's content. <laughs> Elaine, loving the hoodie. Mine's on her way. So, Elaine's ordered one of the Balls to Cancer Ask Auntie D hoodies. Oh. So, you too could be the proud owner of an Ask Auntie D D-Day hoodie. And trust me, take my word for it when I tell you this. It's so warm. And I know you said, oh. I know you said to me, Madge, she said to me, what are you wearing your hoodie for? I said, so I can advertise it for sale. And she's like, you're going to get really, really hot and you're going to want to take it off. And I said, no, I'm not. And she went, yeah, you are. So we're 18 minutes in now, Madge. And I really, really, really want to take the hoodie off. <laughs> See, she's always listening. But... I haven't got anything on underneath it. Right, we'll leave it on then. Thanks very much. <laughs> do you think we should take it off? No. Should do the full Monty live on a Thursday night no, and ask on No one wants to be traumatised. Some people could be eating their dinner and like they'd like to stay down. Right, apparently, I'm not to take it off because the girl child reckons nobody wants to be traumatised and Madge reckons some people might be eating their dinner. So... So it's a no. But then again, if you want to pledge, um, feel free to pledge. And if we reach a certain amount of money, then I'll just whip it off. I might whip no. it off at the end of the show. I'll pay you not to take it off. Madge is going to donate not to take it off. How much are you pledging, Madge? 2p. 2p! <laughs> this is coming off. Trust me, this is coming off. Um, yes, yeah, so there you go. Let's have another look. Um, Lynn Finch Bird is in the house. Oh, hello, Lynn. God Nanny bless. In the Nanny Carmel from Ireland. Um, Lynn Baird, obviously, I've got so much love and respect for you. You know I have. Um, Lynn. Lynn is, um, obviously, she set up the foundation um, for in memory of her son, Daniel Baird, who unfortunately lost his life through knife, knife crime, sorry. And um, she's um, the pioneer of the bleed kits. So respect to you, Lynn, and all you do. And she's been nominated for oh, as God. the Midlander for Pride of Britain. So I am really proud of you, girl. Really, really am. And I cannot wait as well. 
until we can meet up finally and have a good old cup of tea. Stevie here is cooking chicken and chips. Heidi, Heidi is transfer, trans <laughs> Heidi, I've transferred you to the TV. You've now got a 60 inch head. Never mind the head, <laughs> it's the rest of me I'm worried about Heidi. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I don't think this is a body that should appear on a 60 inch TV. <laughs> Oh, don't make me laugh. Kevin Stockbeard just gone flat. Oh, Kev, is your beard gone flat? Why is his beard gone flat? I think you threatening to take your top off. So me threatening to take my top off has made oh Kevin's God. beard gone flat. Well, I'm going to tell the whole world now, Kevin Scott is older than me. Yeah, he might say he's younger than me, but he's older than me. <coughs> About to you, Kev. About to you. You need to put your pint glass in one of them soda stream machines and poof, some carbonated, poof, isn't it? What? Yeah. Carbonated stuff, you know, the soda streams. Do you not know what a soda the stream carbon is? Carbon dioxide, the carbon yolky. No, it's like a, it's a yeah. pot making thing, isn't it? Yeah, well, maybe not then, because I don't like them. <laughs> Janice, I'm not even repeating that comment. Oh Lord, that's oh, we know. Janice that Carter, take your rude comments back to that watch party <laughs> over there, yeah? This is a clean page. A clean page, I tell you. <laughs> uh, Angela D, have you got one of our football tops? I haven't actually got one of the football tops yet, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to come along to a football game. I'll check out the players and whichever one I fancy, I'll just put their top off sorted. Save you washing it as well, Ashley. Angela, I mean, I'm looking at the comments above. Um, so let's talk tea bags. Oh, PG tips all the way. No. Or actually, if I could get them from Ireland, yeah, it'd have to be a Barry's tea. Right. So we're talking oh, tea okay, bags. Yeah. Madge favours PG tips. Now, for those of you that don't know, they're the little um, triangular ones. No, no, Madge. But she also like Barry's tea or lime. If 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 my mother was coming on a visit, <laughs> see it's Barry's tea because obviously it's the Irish, you know. She likes Barry's tea or lion's tea. Now credit to me, Auntie Beat, me Auntie Biddy, whose real name is Breeder. But she, I don't know why we call her Auntie Biddy, but we do. She sends over she sends <laughs> over care packages to Madge. <laughs> You know, just in case Madge can't like go to the supermarket and buy a tea bag or a paracetamol. <laughs> you know, but the laugh of it is she sends them to my house. You know, I'm mean? so, like, I've got my postman beating my door like, you know, it's the police. I open the door all shocked and it's a care package for Madge from Ireland with paracetamol, tea bags, um, a bit of chocolate. Bit of chocolate, chocolate. Oh my God, you have to taste. Cadbury's chocolate, but the Irish chocolate is the nicest chocolate I've ever tasted in my life. Now, I don't like PG tips. Very rarely drink PG tips. Well, never. Um, Brian Mitten has just hit the nail straight on the head. What? What tea bags do I have? And that's the Yorkshire tea. Yorkshire tea. Yorkshire tea is the only tea bag that should be legal in my eyes. Oh, Laura, you've let me down. PG tips. Laura, no, you're, Laura. you're a PG tips kind of girl. I weren't expecting that. I just See Elaine Lana as well, Yorkshire tea bags. And because I have... Elaine! Because I have my tea so weak, one tea bag does me at least five cups a day. <laughs> I'm very t I'm very tight. I'm very tight with my tea bags. <laughs> Elaine Lana, that is shocking. Absolutely shocking. Right, Mark Richard. Yeah. He's a coffee kind of guy. He don't I'm drink tea. Guy. What kind of coffee though? What kind of coffee? This is just getting like really sort of what kind of coffee now though, Paul? But the beautiful Susan Bates is a Yorkshire tea convert, the oh, strong oh, ones. Oh. I'll have. O oh, tips, I think she means PG tips. If I can't get hold of Yorkshire tea bags, 
Yeah, if you like a strong, strong tea, like you like builder's tea. I love a builder's tea. That's why you like your tea bag. Yeah, and I think that's why, because they're really strong. Janice, apparently, when she used to drink tea, um, it was Yorkshire tea. Ooh. Yeah. Paul, how can you... Milk first or after? Nah, uh, Do you know something? Uh, if anybody... After ever ever dared <laughs> put milk in my tea first we're done we're finished <laughs> never i could never ever speak to you ever oh, again yeah. i've got the beautiful isabel bates who's on as well oh, isabella i love you you need once. to stop growing up you're growing up too fast um i think there's a couple of bits coming in here you know and i don't know if they're for my hoodie or if they're for me to take my hoodie off i'd say they're for you to take your hoodie off so what are they i'm not sure so i'm gonna ask the gaffer to have a look look through because oh, yeah. there's some things being added up for like donations to to <laughs> janice carter get out of here get off get off this live now well janice Carter is also on my tablet terror she said milk first here well, you like her because now she likes the sausages and bacon in Ireland, so you will like her. No, I don't. Well, what I don't. about the black pudding? Oh, <laughs> anyway, that's a different kettle of fish. Um, <laughs> Mark likes, how do you pronounce that? L apostrophe, O-R, coffee? Oh, Bosch coffee. Bosch coffee? La, 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 I don't even know how to pronounce it. Law, I suppose. Law. 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 Um, Brian likes Nescafe Gold Blend. Yeah, I'm a Kenko girl. I think that's because of them smarmy little Nescafe. Do you remember the Nescafe adverts? No. You, you do? No, I don't. Are you serious? You don't remember the Nescafe? It was like a whole story, like a love story. No. Really? Yeah, You're letting me down, Matt. You didn't know who Pepsi and Shirley was. Ads. Who's got time to watch ads? I have. Um, Tony Fisher. Is a green tea kind of guy or an Americano black? Well, that's Ooh. strong. In the morning, but busy uh, nice. Madge likes an Americano black, apparently. <laughs> In the morning, after a busy night. Yeah. I really don't know what to say about that. This is getting worse. Elaine doesn't have milk or sugar in hers either. Elaine, tea bag in or tea bag out? Uh, Diane, Diane hardly likes Yorkshire tea, but she likes like a nice English breakfast tea too. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> what was that? Did anyone else hear that bang? Yeah, I don't have in my car. Andy Conway, leave it on. It's Halloween next week. <laughs> Cheeky bugger. Oh! oh. <laughs> Janice drinks Kenko coffee too. Janice is a Kenko kind of girl. Janice is a bloody everything kind of girl. Right. <laughs> can, can I describe, can I, can I just let you all know about basically what the perfect cup of tea is, right? The perfect cup of tea is a Yorkshire tea bag. Water. Boiled twice. Obviously boiled water. You never know how some people like their tea these days. Boiled water, I check my joke, right? Boy. So, Yorkshire tea bag, boiled water, one spoon of sugar, yeah? Fill it right, right, right to the top. The tiniest drop of milk. A teaspoon I use to get yours. Yeah, like a teaspoon type of milk. And, you ready? Oh, don't do it. Leave your tea bag in, because it makes it stronger. Look. Stronger. Right. And then... To finalise the perfect cup of tea, it's a balls to cancel mug. Yeah, exactly. There you go. What's cracker lacking over there? Will Phillips. I, lo I love tea bagging. Will Phipps. <laughs> oh, Phipps, sorry. Will, Will Phipps apparently loves his tea bagging. Juan <laughs> <laughs> Jones has very hot water. No, it has to be hot water, boiled water. Well, hot water and boiled water is different. You boil in a kettle, so it's boiled water. Coffee, you don't put boiled water on it. You boil it and let it wait for a minute and then put the water yeah, on it. Yeah, because you'll burn the coffee. Yeah. See, that's where I put the milk in first and then the hot water. Ah, oh, I see. Yeah, because it gets, it gets creamy. Navi tea, yeah, it's Navi tea. It is Navi tea. I'll tell you something, I'll give you like a bit of a joke, to be fair. And we used to work in a cafe, 
right um yeah right now what are you laughing at i used to work in a cafe and obviously in a cafe you make tea don't you and because i'm so used to making my own tea many a times i forgot to take the tea bag out and you'd see all these people sitting in the cafe drinking the tea and then all of a sudden all you do is oh, oh, oh. the amount of people that get smacked in the face by a tea bag when they're finishing, when they're finishing off their cup of tea I know, I know. Mighty tributes. Oh, tributes. See, they're all on over there. Me panto, me panto crew's on over there. You're the best dunker around, E. I'm the best dunker around. What can I say, Wally? That's me Wally Wombat oh, over hello, there. Wally. Yeah, see, see, he, he comes on, he's got different different guises, uh, hasn't he? So he comes on as different things. Well, listen, it's half seven match. Two seconds, I have a will comment. We have a will comment. We have a will comment. Don't you wish your tea bag was hot like me? Question mark. What does that mean, D? Don't you wish your tea bag was hot like D? Because that's 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 is there a tone to it usually when it says there is a tone to it because that's my rap. What rap? My rap from my pants every day. I'm not giving you a bar. Okay. Um, okay. I had to I had to rap when I was appearing as the um Empress of of Brum in Aladdin last oh, year. I think we all I think everybody wants to hear a bit of rap. I'm no, they really don't rap. want to hear a bit of rap. I do, but yeah. If you watch this space, because I will be donning the Empress outfit again very, very oh. soon with the dodgy orange hat. <laughs> and and I will be um I will be rapping again, Madge. Oh yeah, so watch Have this you been space. Of course I've been practicing. You said that about your lines. <laughs> <laughs> said that about my lines. You know, these kids will get me into awful trouble. Right then, guys, let's just address address. A little situation we've got tonight's special guest was was going to be kelly hollis star of shameless emmerdale the clink waterloo road but unfortunately she's not able to join us um so huh so the oh oh the boss has messaged and the boss has sent Madge a message because I ignore his messages. <laughs> and I can now see that when I click on this screen now, I can assure you, you definitely ain't getting Kelly Hollis unless she's having a really, really bad day. <coughs> All right, Hello, D. Hi, you're lovely. Oh, I'm all right, sweetheart. Um, how are you doing? I'm all right. I'm just trying to technically get myself all sorted so you can see me properly. I'm just being, you've saved me from a fate worse than a fate worse than death. I'm not sure how good that light is. <laughs> well, you've saved us from a fate fate worse than than having no death. <laughs> what can I say? Um, that's that's so, what I have to do. <laughs> I thought you were oh, actually dear, back for a minute. You're morphing into Mr. Bates. Uh, what, do you know what? I'm not that good looking. I'll tell you that for something. Cry me. Nobody's that good looking. So tell us a little bit about yourself then, Scotty. Obviously, you're a massive, massive supporter of Balls to Cancer. Well, I certainly try my best, if nothing else. I mean, I'm compared to some of the, the charity supporters, I'm I'm sort of a bit of a in in lurks in the background and then opens his mouth once a year. But other than that, um, yeah, it's been all right. Um this this whole um strange world that we're living in at the moment's taking its toll on a lot of people. Uh, thankfully I'm I consider myself to be very lucky. I've still been working all the way through lockdown and through all the changes. And now we're going into tier one, two, three, and seventeen. Um, <laughs> the, the the one downside to all this has been, as as most people see, the charity charitable side of things. Charities across the across the entire country are, are suffering massively. Um, but the one good thing I've been staying in contact with. Uh, many of the supporters that look after balls to cancer kept in contact with Sue, yourself, and Anata the other night. It's nice to catch up with you. Um, but one of the biggest things that I've I've seen recently. Um, Go on, then. What's wrong with you? Hello. What's 
He's talking, but they're not sound. He's jammed. He's jammed. Right, that's right. I lost the link then. So one of the one of the biggest things that I've been. Are you still there, D? I am, Scotty. I that's am. That's all right. I'm, 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 I'm actually part. This is no word of a lie. Um, if I take you for a quick, a quick tour to where you've just dragged me out, obviously you can understand why it's a bit technically challenging. You know, every time me and you, I was in the gym. Even, you're always dragging me somewhere for a quick something or other, Scotty. <laughs> aye, aye. <laughs> you're never that desperate, D, are you? Well, you can see behind me, sort of there. Very desperate, Dan. I'm his, that's, I'm his that's, I was in the gym up until a few minutes ago. Oh, take us in, um, And you've saved me from a... from a. Say again. Take us in the gym. You've saved me from a from a 5,000 metre row and some dumbbell work, which me and... Uh... Say again, sorry. Take us in the gym. Take you in the gym? Yeah. You won't, you won't hear a thing, and it's it's full of sweaty people, and it's... It's not yeah, very pleasant. Take you in the gym. <laughs> take you in the gym. I'm going to second, see if I can find the camera. See, I don't know to switch this camera. <laughs> right. Let's take you. Let's take you for a for a tour around the gym. So this is Vorto Fitness in Wolverhampton. If oh, I just show you the uh, where we are, all socially distanced, all being very careful to people looking after them. Um, and at the moment, the guys are behind me. We've got. Um, there's my stepson there. He's gone off to do something very energetic. And we've actually got the Tim Dog. Uh, but Bernie, this is I'll show I'll introduce you to Bernie, who's um who's the gym dog. So there's there's Bernie the, the golden lab. So so there's Bernie. Say hello, Bernie. There he is. He's um he's very much part of the fixtures and fittings that he's alright. He's gonna come and sit in the car with me for a bit, I think. So I've got to go in the car to <coughs> so he can hear me properly. Now, in you go, Ben. Good boy. Obviously, Scotty, we've got quite a few messages coming in on, on, on here now saying, Scotty, you've lost weight. Fat Scotty isn't fat. Even <laughs> not so fat, Scotty. You have actually lost loads of weight. Are you the only person I was... in the country that during lockdown has been able to lose weight? Well, not really. I, I, this started probably this... Going back to July, August of last year, so just before the the um, the ball that we could have last year, um, I was at twenty stone and three pounds. So quite literally living up to my living up to my name, and then I lost up until last Christmas. I went down to seventeen six, wow. but the problem being is with that amount of weight loss, it takes a toll on your back and your bones and everything else. And I had a um, spent six months with sciatica started this year, and it's. Um, it's all sort of taken its toll. So the weight's gone back in a bit to 18 and a half stone, but it's nowhere near what it was. But for, for anybody who's thinking, um, this, this wasn't me in lockdown. The kids brought all the gym equipment back home from, from Vorto Fitness. He's been fantastic to us, Jack Carpenter and the team there. He's, he's, he's loaned all of his kit out during the main lockdown months. Wow, and there's, there's Bernie. Yeah. Oh, can have me here, Bernie? Say, Bernie's just doing what I normally do when I bump into you, Scotty. <laughs> yeah, but you don't go. But you don't go as far as the waxy bits, do you? You, you, you sort of, you, you house trained. <laughs> so, after all that, anyway, I was telling you earlier about some, the two of the guys I caught up with a couple of three weeks ago, uh, Tony and Kay Smith, who who come to the ball every year. You'll know, you'll know Tony because not only is he about nine foot tall and built like a proverbial outhouse, but he also lets you touch his little wooden dicky. Now, for the, for those of you who don't know what it is, he, he actually has, has he has dicky. handmade wooden dicky bows. He has wooden dicky bows made, and every year he wears a different a different one. But what he's done this year is he took the old balls to cancer promo van, which was in a very sorry state. It was sitting down the side of Mark's Mark and Sue's house, um, and he's renovated it, kitted it all out, and he took it on a coast to coast visit of the Scotland and England, and he went. From his home in Derbyshire, up the east coast by Skegness, all the way around through the northeast of North Newcastle upon Tyne, all across the top of John O'Groats, Scotland, back down the other side, got down to Liverpool on his way back home uh, to do the, the English stretch and had a bit of a technical problem. So he said, do you know anybody with a garage? Uh, the van's making a funny noise. So I said, look, you're on your way down the M6, pop to Wolverhampton where I am. I'll come and have a coffee with you. Uh, and we see what we can do. And as it, as it was, we spent a, a fantastic four or five hours together trying to get the van fixed. And in the end, he uh, 
he where he converted the back of the the van out into a, a camper. He he was shown the best possible uh, hospitality at in Tipton, if thanks to oh. Renault Trucks Midlands, who uh, fitted a brand new shock absorbance and bushes free of charge for him. He had to pay for the parts, but they they couldn't get the parts because it was only a van. But they fit they fitted them free of charge for him, and he, he enjoyed their hospitality with free tea and coffee all night with the security guard. And um, thankfully, he came back, woke up the following morning, and all these wheels were still on the van, which is nice. Because if you come to where I live in Wolverhampton, they'd have left you just sleeping on the tarmac. See, that that's is, how they go. That is really nice. But, was, uh, but no, he's, they did a they they lost, I think, in total with breakdowns and all the small technical problems. They lost, I think, three or uh, three or four or five days. But he managed to get down uh, all the way down to Devon to Cornwall. Back across the south coast, I think he got as far as, I think it was Portsmouth, and then it's a head back home. See, you can follow that. It took him two weeks, weeks two two weeks, the two of them on the road. Yeah, we did mention them. The so, yeah, sorry. Week. They're fondly known to yeah. us the BTC Rally, and we did give That's them a mention. Ones. Yeah, we did give them a mention the other week, and God bless them, they are amazing, because they are out there raising awareness. Oh and some and some funds for balls to cancer and oh my god you want to see some of the things they cook from this van because it always they'll always post like pictures of that their breakfast or their lunch i'm like oh my god yeah. it looks absolutely amazing it really does um so what's cracker lacking with you then young man any radio or what's what's happening because obviously if you explain you've been in the radio world forever Uh, unfortunately, no. Radio seems to have fallen flat in its face, as some people who live in various parts of Balls to Cancer Land may have seen that their their local local radio stations have been uh, bought up and replaced by the new station, Greatest Hits Radio. So, whilst Greatest Hits Radio is a fantastic station, I love it. I listen to it in the car. It has meant that some of the, lo the truly local radio stations, uh, Signal 107, when I was working as freelance, um Ipswich 102 if you're down in the in Suffolk and across various parts of the country have now become greatest it's radio so we've lost some of that connection but on the upside some of the other truly local community stations uh such as unity you've got uh new style in birmingham um yes, I think big city my there's hoodie, there. yeah my auntie d hoodie actually made its debut yesterday yeah. at unity fm did it it did mm -hmm. Yes. It's unlike you to wear clothes when you're going out somewhere special. You see, this is the thing, Scotty. I'm dying to take it off. But, like, the kids <laughs> and that are saying no. Do you know what I mean? It's like, so I'm trying to work out. I might just whip it off at the end of the show. What do you reckon? Oh, I'll just do it. Go on, natural. It's what, it's what God intended. I, I personally think so, too. It's like, I'm not even going to say what she said. So can I ask you, Scotty, obviously, you know, you are such a valued ambassador for Balls to Cancer. And, you know, you are the, you are definitely the host with the most. Every, every Christmas ball, I mean, I absolutely love you and I absolutely love Dave. We never get Fat Scotty without Dave, do we? Do you know what I mean? It's like... No, um, producer, producer Dave, bless him, he's... Uh... He's still there, producer Dave. He's uh, we've we've shipped him off to a pig farm in southern Japan for a few months just to sort of take it nice and easy. He's uh, he's sixty six this year, which is which wow. uh, I didn't I didn't I honestly didn't know how old he was, but clearly he's had he had, he's had a very good paper round. He got somebody else to do it for him when he was younger. Uh, goes to the same beauticians as Sir Cliff Richard uh, and Sue Barker. So he's obviously having a, living the high life, but he's he's very much there behind the scenes. He's still doing a lot of. Um, a lot of awareness. He still keeps in contact with some of the guys he used to work because he's recently lost his job. But on the plus side, he's now happy that he's um, that he's become uh, almost retired now. Yeah. So, so it's, it's, what it's does nice. um, what does a charity like Balls to Cancer mean to you, Scotty? See, for me, I as a man of a certain age, I mean, I'm 45 next month, which is um, yeah. I can people are going really. You look older, um, but but for me personally. As a, as a man of a certain age and uh, somebody who's had um, – I'm very fortunate, Dee, and I don't like – it's not the kind of thing I like to I like to sort of say, but I'm very fortunate that none of my uh, immediate family or friends have ever been in the position where they've had um, cancer. But we've had people who have had uh, checkups and they've just gone to see if they are – they need to be checked by a doctor. 
And for me to have a cancer charity that isn't afraid to put it out there, it's not afraid to broach the subject of male health, and it's certainly not a, a charity that has a, a whole list of criteria where, you know, you can't um, apply for help or ask for help from Boards to Cancer unless you tick a box or you have a, a whole raft of various other criteria that you fill. You know, what Sue and Mark started and, and you as, a, as one of the, the huge ambassadors and Matt Hoy and all the other guys that do all the, the, the celebrity aspects of it, it makes it feel human and real and approachable and male cancer has been one of those very touchy subjects if you're like me you're you're very much always brought up that you you know you just got on with things and you don't talk about you know stuff down there but as um i like to think now we can talk about these things men need to talk everybody needs to talk if they've got a problem if they think you know your own bodies if you, if you feel something you know just not quite right yeah. then you don't it's not it's not big anymore just to man up and get on with it and, you know, think, oh, it's only nothing. You know, and I know we're in strange times where doctor's appointments are, are more difficult to get hold of. But if you know your body and you know yourself that something just isn't quite as you would expect, it's not quite right, get it checked. There's there's no there's no harm in, in having things checked. I mean, I had three years ago, um, I had... Um, that visit to the doctors uh, when you have the 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 male the male MOT, um, and it's it's lost you for a bit there, Scotty. Sorry, mate. So, so I was just saying when we um, at, at a certain age, I, I had two or three years ago my first male MOT, uh, and I wasn't sure what the what to expect with the male MOT, um, and the doctor said, right, if you can sort of swip strip from the, the waist down, and give you the full cough and drop, and we're gonna we're gonna have a look at what's going on. Um, and oh God, you know, very, un it was a little uncomfortable. wasn't, it wasn't pleasant, but it was something that needed to be done. And it's probably the, the, the equivalent of, of women going to have a smear test. It's not something you want to have done, but it's almost, it's always that peace of mind where, you know, it's best to get it done for the sake of 10 minutes, get yes. yourself checked and just make sure that things are quite right. Because as, as I've, been speaking to a lot of people and then we've um i think one of the things that brought it home for me is when we met uh caroline a couple of th uh, about three or four years ago now who came to the ball um again she she had cancer she came to the ball she was so so funny so full of life and it made it all very real to me because it was somebody that i had come to know yeah. and come to get used to and she sadly passed away so as a charity that doesn't discriminate against them whether you're a male whether you're a female whether you're a, an oap whether you're a young kid it's a pity that balls to cancer doesn't get much more exposure now i know see and that's the um, thing I've, I've found that as well it, it, it's weird, isn't it? Because from the from the very second you walk through them doors at a Balls to Cancer Christmas Ball, you're automatically family. Yes. And that's completely agree with you. Happy. It's like whether you know the celebs and the the people and you know, and, and it's just it's just unbelievable, isn't it? It's like it's and that's and you know, and you know for me as somebody who's who's relatively new to the charity, I mean you know, I I get very starstruck very very easily. I think I I, I, I once had, no mate. I, I I I pounced on Ronan Keating at Birmingham Airport once because my wife's a huge Ronan Keating fan. And of course, you don't know where to react. Excuse me, Mister Keating. This he got this, uh, this big bouncer, and he was no oh, come along. And this when I met you, when I met uh, Matt, and we've met and our whole host Cannon, uh, you know Tommy Cannon oh and Paul God. Chuckle the other year. He had, uh, oh. We had him at our table. It was Paul. Sh oh. It was me, Paul Chuckle, and Tommy Cannon. Oh my God! I'm telling you now, I have never laughed so much in my whole I, life. I said to my dad, I took a video of me. I was doing a walk around uh, pre-video for the for the ball, and Tommy Cannon just limbed up into shot, and I completely lost my train of thought. And it's like for me, I got I think I got tongue tied, and I actually said said that to my dad. I said, Dad, if I 
get, if I drop down dead now, you know, to work with Tom yeah. Gannon, Paul Chuckle, uh, see, and that's it. to I see get, mate, again, get, Shane get, Nolan yeah, last year. Not, oh my good God! I'm what you, a, then, what a performer! To work with such wonderfully down to earth people, yeah. you wouldn't yeah. know that they were celebrities unless you saw them. Exactly, exactly, and it's it's kind of like I was just oh man, and that's what I'm saying. You're not going to believe I've got put. I'm sitting next to Paul Chuckle, and I was like, oh my god, yeah. <laughs> but then like they talk to you like they know, and I'm like, how do they know me? And then I'm like, I've got Jeffrey on the telly, haven't I? But, <laughs> you know, <laughs> kind of just forget. Oh, but Scotty, listen, God bless you for jumping on for a little chat. No, you're more than welcome anytime, Dee. You're I'm welcome. Uh, talking, you know, talking and stuff. And uh, no, I don't yeah. really. But you know, and fingers crossed. Obviously, you know, um, fingers crossed for the ball 2021. It's the tenth birthday. Oh yeah, I can't wait. We we did the, the the worst thing about all this is is quickly is myself and Dave have been working on um, this. I've done all the all the all the audio and the the videos for. For the balls to cancer Christmas ball, and we gutted. So we've been sending these videos and this all these um, the promo and the audio that we do um, backwards and forwards. We, we, we've been laughing our heads off at it, but we can't wait to start and re re record them ready for next year. But all I want to do is next year is to really spring surprises on people. So if you for those people who watch this broadcast who follow balls to cancer on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. If yeah. there's something or there's somebody you'd like us to, to surprise or yeah. there's somebody you'd like us to just, you know, really shock them in a nice way or do something for them. If it's something we can do, let us know. The, the, the quicker you get in contact with us, the easier it is. And Bernie's now foraging down here. He thinks there's food. Bernie, we you get up here? Show me up your duck. Oh, there he is. Look. Um, if there's anything you'd like us to do or to surprise you, give us some time and trust me, if you think Saturday Night Takeaway with Anton Neck is going to be is good, we oh. can bring this down to a whole new level. Definitely. Um, and, that's and we, we're going to be done, honestly. But um, on that note, it looks like I think Bernie wants a poo or something because he, he keeps running around the car. <laughs> Scotty, I'll let you go. Listen, I love you loads. I can't love wait. So, listen, Deep, I'd love to talk to you. We'll have to go and take him out in case he does anything, something in the car that I don't want. <laughs> Scotty, I'll speak to you soon, my darling. You take care. <laughs> Bloody hell, I thought I could chat. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Any competition? I hope they're not going to do an Ask Uncle Scotty. No, oh. <laughs> don't even go there, Madge, because that'll be you. No. Out of a job. <laughs> <laughs> So what's cracker lacking in our match? Stuart toured off there's Queen D. Oh, you know, I love you, Stuart. Stuart's amazing, you know. Stuart is um it's like he's a security guard, but not just any security guard. He has got you know, the dogs. Yeah. So his dogs are canines. Oh, canines, that's it. What's the same thing? Canines the same thing, it's a dog. See, Maggie's getting technical on me over here, Stuart. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, but I just think they're amazing. Oh, obviously, because we've had the dog as well, haven't we? Yeah. Um, in, um, in Scotty's um, car. Yeah. Was it a van? Was it a car? Oh, but I just think it's amazing because yeah. them dogs, they sniff out everything, don't they? Drugs, weapons, everything. Yeah. COVID. Yeah, because like, apparently they're training friends. dogs now. Yeah. To um to sniff out COVID, I know you've got dogs that can um sense like because you, you hear about it before. Well, I've heard about it before. You know the dogs that have um sort of like really bugged their owners. They can yeah, sense yeah. illnesses, can't yeah. they? And cancer. Yeah. Like cancer diabetes. has been yeah. Cancer and diabetes has been picked up by by um an owner's dog. Um, I'm just going to lean a bit here. Hang on a minute, guys. You all right over there, girl child? No, ma'am. Right. Let's obviously, as, I, Andy, <laughs> as Andy knows, and as you probably all know, I normally do a curry Thursday because it's one of the easiest things to cook and, you know, it's self-sufficient. So, obviously, 
The girl child, while I've been chatting away to Fat Scotty, has took herself off into the kitchen to dish up her own dinner. Ooh. I'm not 100% sure if she realises that I haven't actually eaten yet. I'm going to dinner tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, go, Caitlin. Eat away. Oh, well. I must admit, it smells lovely. So no, I did, I did a, a I did a chicken mushroom and onion bolty today. Yeah, with peshwari naans because my garlic and coriander ones were mouldy the other week. Do you remember? Oh no, Andy's popped on. Um, I was not late, D. I had you on silent as I was talking to my friend Jane. Now remember we mentioned Jane yeah. last week. Um, sadly, her husband passed away on Monday. Um, oh God, God bless you know, God bless Andy. Please, please, please pass on all our love to Jane um, from us and everybody at Balls to Cancer. Oh, do you know? And 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 again, it's kind of like you go from like speaking to someone and having a laugh, and and the reality of it is, isn't it, that cancer's just it's awful, it's horrible. Oh, God bless you know, sending her all our love, Mr. Conway. We really, really are. Well, what we've done today, guys, is we're still we're still doing the winner spinner competition, even though Kelly couldn't join us tonight. So you could win a balls to cancer. Maybe not the right finger to can you hear that? He's playing on his PlayStation upstairs, and it sounds like he's gonna come through the ceiling. So you could be the winner of a balls to cancer wristband. Now, the good news is not many people guessed correctly. Did they match? No, because they are kind of who, kind of who. I'm like not mentioning them, them yet, because everybody thought it was someone else. So we've actually, believe it or not, one, two, three, four, we've only got five names on our winner spinner. Now, is this our dramatic winner spinner? Oh, bear with, caller. Bear with, oh. because we want to increase the dramaticness of our prize draw and god you wait until our end of month prize draw because don't forget throughout the month any person who guesses correctly to any of the special guests will get entered on the monthly end of the month draw I'm dribbling again i always dribble about this time of night Your age. <laughs> <laughs> it's always three minutes before end of show i start dramatically dribbling it have eating a curry, yeah we don't know someone's eating a curry and it smells absolutely gorgeous yeah. anyway as i was saying so you will be entered onto our massive prize drawer at the end of the month and the winner of that will win a balls to cancer fc football Jersey, I was going to say journey. Oh, magic's gone off. Oh, no, it's come back on. Right, so here you go. We've got buy the new Pixel 4a. I don't want to buy a Pixel 4a. Right, so here we go. So, five names. Um, tap to spin. You ready, guys? And the winner of the Balls to Cancer wristband is Paul Harold. Spelt like that. Woo! -hoo! There you go. Paul, congratulations. Um, drop Balls to Cancer a message and we'll get you out your wristband. Stevie, it's got to be your week soon. So we'll fingers crossed. But Stevie, don't forget as well, you have guessed correctly on the past couple of weeks. So your name will be on obviously on the draw for the football jersey. So there you go, guys. Thank you ever so much for popping in. And um, thank you to Fat Scotty for just, who ain't fat anymore, because he's like, he's lost <laughs> half his body weight. We'll just call him Scotty now. Um, <laughs> I'm not a fan of East End. I don't watch the soaps, you know. Oh. Jack, Jack Mix has just said, why don't you get a bit part in East End to spice it up a bit? Well, I reckon I could really spice up a soap I could. Do you know what I'm saying? Danny so, and I'm not a fan. No, Danny Dyer. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Danny Dyer, Madge's kind of guy. So what I'm going to well, say no, is thanks, everybody, for joining in. <laughs> thanks to Scotty for popping in for a little chat. I love you all loads. And, I, oh, my God. Guys, I'm absolutely dreading next week. 
Um, and I'll tell you why I'm dreading next week. Because not dreading in a bad way, Madge. Well, you have to feed them. Dreading it in a kind of like <laughs> I know who my guest okay. is next week. Oh. Here's Paul's put <laughs> down here. You could be Karen's sister in East Enders. <laughs> Do you know that when Paul messages you looking for this, yeah, tell him you run out. No, I'm only joking. Right, guys, I love you all loads. In the meantime, please, please, please pop a visit to ballstocancer.com. Have a look in the shop, and you never know, might be able to get you some nicey stuff. So unless one of these two comes over here and ends this broadcast, I'm about to set the top off. I'm taking it off. Dee, have you got a t-shirt on? No, I haven't got a t-shirt on. Oh, my days. Let me go. Go. <laughs>